Hey, it's late here as usual, just going to quickly go over the new Anisora model. This is another one 2.1 fine tune and it's clearly the best animation model out there. Uh, even better than the commercial products like Vidu that are known for their uh, animation. So let's get into the workflow. So it took me a while to get this going. Um, tried it in the one wrapper uh, as I normally would and just came out with some horrible outputs. Uh, lucky enough I found this uh, article uh, and read it and um, down here someone had suggested to go back to the native workflow and they're using lightx 2 v um, with four steps and CFG at one. Further down that wasn't sort of working so I found this person here said um, using CauseVid at 0.3 strength and light X2V at full strength in a shift of eight, six steps and at the CFG one. So trying that is what got me the output. So this is just your normal native workflow. Um, the only difference is I've added the two LORAs, right? So I've got the cause vid there and got 0.3 first. Um, so click that in there. And then secondly, I've got the light x2v um, and then it jumps down to the shift here uh, notice the strength on these 0.3 cause vid and full strength on the light uh, x2v um, then using the 8 on the shift and down here got steps at 6 and the cfg 1 uh, all of the normal things are still here, like, uh, you know, you've got your VAE, um, 1, 2.1, and you've got your Clip H, so your Clip H is looking at the picture and telling it what that actually is. You've got your text encoder that tells the ConfiI workflow what's, what's the person's talking about in there, and you've got your load diffusion model, which is the Annie Sora model. Um, these things are all, once again, on the Kaiji uh, website. I'll have the the link to this in there, but you'll find all of them on there. Uh, this list is getting bigger and bigger um, that's being built there. But all the links will be there, as you can see. There's a short generation of them getting angry at the clock. Um, and then you've got this one where it sort of zooms in and the clock arm is turning. Um, you know, this is really good quality. I had tried a, a normal one. And it just starts distorting the clock. And yeah, so this one I've just used uh, Fred Flintstone from Whisk. And I mean, Whisk does an amazing job at these photos now. Um, and then run it, and the output is it's just crazy. It's the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so definitely worth having a go at this.